In this video, I will show you how to use LinkedIn groups for business and all the LinkedIn groups, best practices you must know to generate B2B leads and get meetings. Here is the deal. You shouldn't waste time joining and engaging in LinkedIn groups. You shouldn't waste time creating a LinkedIn group either. The actual only efficient way to use LinkedIn group for business is to extract their members to build qualified audiences for your prospecting campaigns. And now I will show you exactly why I think that. Let's dive right in. First, a quick reminder. So if you want to find your LinkedIn groups, you just need to scroll down here and go here under groups. If you want to look for groups, you just need to use uh, the search bar here. Let's look for sale, for example, and to select here the group tab. And here you will find all uh, the groups containing here uh, your keyword. If you want to join a group, you just need to click here on the title and click uh, on join here. And if the admin don't accept your request, you can still here uh, message them and if, for example, after one week, you don't get a reply, you can send them a message or connect to tell them to accept your request. But the thing is, guys, you shouldn't join LinkedIn groups because they are useless, full of spammers and non-active because the UX is terrible. Let me show you some examples. So 99% of LinkedIn groups look like this. So you got tons of members but no one is active and you get only posts from spammers selling their services with absolutely no interaction here. And here, even where there is interaction here, you could say, oh, 11 comments. And you look at the comments, there are only spammers in the comments. And I could do a 100 group like this and they will all look the same with spammy posts like this. So from time to time, there is one or two comments, but compared to Facebook groups or Slack channels, the uh, interaction is really mediocre. So if I can save three months of your time right now, please don't join LinkedIn groups and don't have FOMO. You won't lose any business opportunities because you are not present on LinkedIn groups. And maybe now you are thinking like, oh, then I should create my own LinkedIn group and this LinkedIn group will be better than the others. The thing is, I've never seen one company create a successful LinkedIn groups because the UX on LinkedIn groups is so terrible that nobody wants to interact on them. For example, here I find this group, Melching Product Community, and you can see that this group exactly the same. Some posts here, no interaction, self-promotion. From time to time, one comment here, self-promotion. Are you looking for an expert? etc. So you see that uh, this group from MailChimp is exactly uh, the same as the other ones. So if you want to create a community, a group for your users, for your clients, you should better use Facebook, Slack or Circle rather than LinkedIn. If you want to create a small group on LinkedIn, it's way better to create a group LinkedIn conversation than a LinkedIn group because people are really active on LinkedIn DMs and at least your LinkedIn group conversation will be alive. You can do that with too much people, but if you have a small group, a small community, you can totally create a LinkedIn group conversation and that will work. The only relevant way to use LinkedIn groups is actually to use them to identify targets for your B2B prospecting campaigns. Because being part of a group is a signal of interest. You have seen that on the previous group I've shown you, there is no interaction, but there are a lot of members. It means that at the time these people joined the groups, they thought that these groups will contain the answers to their problems. So if you sell product or services, you can consider LinkedIn group members as a qualified audience for your prospecting campaigns. The cool thing about LinkedIn group is that you can send messages to uh, their members without being connected to them. So here, if I click on uh, members show all here i can send direct messages to the group members without sending a connection request first but you must know that if you send messages like this they will land into uh, the message request inbox here and not the main inbox so the notification will appear but not in the main inbox and the message will look like this your name via and then the name of the group so to see your messages, your prospect needs to click here 
and here so obviously the reply rate to these messages will be lower than classic LinkedIn messages. That is why instead of using this feature, I will recommend to send connection request or find the emails of your prospects so you are sure your messages are read by your prospect and they land into their main inbox, LinkedIn inboxes or email inboxes. And if you want to extract LinkedIn group members and find their emails, the best way to do that is to use Sales Navigator and Eveboot. Let me show you how it works. So basically, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is an advanced search engine for sales with much more features than the LinkedIn basic search. And in LinkedIn Sales Navigator, what you can do, if you expand the filter here, you have a group filter. And here, you can write a keyword, select a group, and then you will have all the members of the group here appearing on the right. That is only the first step, but the amazing thing with Sales Navigator and that you can't do it with the LinkedIn basic search engine that you can add some other filters on top of that. So here, for example, I can take all the members of the group and then say to Sales Navigator, I want only uh, the head of sales in this group and I want only head of sales with more than three years uh, of experience and you can see now I had 300,000 results at the beginning and now I get less than 1,000 so my search is much more targeted and much more precise so basically here I'm targeting head of sales with experience looking for best practices because they are a member of this group sales best practices and there is tons of filters you can use on sales navigator for example here I could target people uh, only in Europe or I can even select a city like Paris, for example. The second step now is to extract these people into a CSV file and get their emails. And for that, you can use the Evaboot Chrome extension. I will leave the link in the description. Once you have downloaded the Evaboot Chrome extension, you get a new button on the top, Extract with Evaboot. You just need to click on it here and it will open the uh, Evaboot uh, platform. Then you just need to name your search, like here, head of sales groups, and to press extract to launch the extraction. So you can see now that the extraction is running and you just need to wait a few minutes to get the results. The duration of the extraction will depend on the size of your search. Okay, cool, so now the extraction is completed. So let's take a look at the data we get here. So we get a uh, first name, last name, position, company name, company website, company domain, location, the LinkedIn URL, the industry, specialties of the company, um, the number of employee um, in the company, the number of connection, a ton of uh, LinkedIn data you can use for your targeting and your prospecting. Basically, if I would extract all the data present on Sales Navigator, on the profiles and on the company pages. Now, if we go back to the Evaboot platform, we can find the professional emails of our prospect in just one click by clicking here on find emails and click here on unreach all leads. And then same thing, we just need to wait a few minutes and the emails will be added directly in the file and so will be verified by the Evaboot uh, verifying algorithm. Okay, perfect. So now you can see that the email enrichment is done. And if I re-download the file, we will see that the professional emails uh, of my prospect have been added here. So a colon E and F. So here you get the email and then on the next column, you get the validity of the email because if I would also verify all the emails uh, we found. If the email is valid, it means that you are sure that the email exists. And if there is an unknown, it means that uh, the email can be verified because the email server of the company of your prospect don't let email verification algorithm verify emails. I won't talk too much about that here. If you want to know more about unknown email, you can write email catch all on Google. So yep, here in two clicks, you have a file that is ready to be used for a prospecting campaign. Once you have your file ready, you can take it and upload it into your favorite outreach tool to start your prospecting campaign. Personally, for that, I use LGM. I will leave the link in the description because they allow to do multi-channel called outreach. So you can build sequences like this, like 
you send two emails, like I send a first email and then if no reply, I send a follow up. And then if I get no reply, I switch to LinkedIn and I send a connection request. If my connection request is not accepted, I send another email. And if my connection request is accepted, I send LinkedIn messages. Multi-channel code outreach really increases reply rate. So you can try LGM if you want, but if you already have a code outreach tool, obviously use the one you already have. The cool thing about this technique is that the targeting creates the icebreaker for your messages. If you contact LinkedIn group members, you can be sure that 100% of them will have forgotten that they are part of this group because maybe they joined it a long time ago. So you can totally send a message like this one. Hey, first name, I've just joined this group, but I realized it was not active at all. I'm really willing to exchange with people already interested in this topic. And I've seen you are a member of this group as well. Are you still interested in this topic or are you given up on it and switch to another thing? If you are still interested in this topic, it would be a pleasure to exchange with you about sell best practices. And then after that, you can introduce a little bit uh, of yourself. It's always good in your prospecting messages to precise a clear reason for your outreach. And here, the reason for your outreach is that these people are member of a LinkedIn group. The technique I've just shown you is only one way to generate leads with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And if you want to know more about how you can leverage Sales Navigator to get dozens of meetings every week, you can watch the video just right here. This contains everything you need to become a LinkedIn lead generation expert. Thanks for watching, guys, and I see you at the next one. Bye bye.